Good morning, folks. We've got a space weather review and some key data and articles to cover. We had another special edition video last night. We will again tonight and again tomorrow. But let's start with our star where solar flaring remains in low C-class range. The sunspots are numerous, but still far from the sun's flaring potential. We did finally see the solar wind speed, in purple, drop back down to calm enough range to put an end to the instability reverberations in the magnetic field about time after five days of that. In addition to sunspot development, these big snake-like plasma filaments are major eruption threats, several of them amidst the now also sunspot-laden surface. We'll have eyes on it. Let's look at the solar cycle progression and find we are still well above the predicted marks. For grand solar minimum proponents, you would need to see the black line on the other side of the red line to be suggesting that minimum is here now. And in addition to being above average in sunspots, I hope this is also a good reminder that you can't just go by sunspots. August doesn't show a huge jump on this chart, even though it was the reawakening of the sun's flaring and CME production. This is why you can't use sunspots or irradiance in climate models. You have to use geomagnetically relevant data. Speaking of climate, August national report has come out, and while it was above average, we did have some areas that were below average, but once again, daily maximum temps top right show the most blue. Nightly minimums bottom left show the most red. Global warming is about nighttime temps not dropping as much, rather than being all about ultra heat during the day. Interesting article here on water worlds. This was the premise of our star water series nine years ago, that water is everywhere. Here, they confirm that reality and suggest many have way more water than Earth does, up to 50% of the entire planet's mass. Folks, last night you got this video, simple demonstration showing the globe's movement causing the tsunamis. It was a good one, hope you didn't miss it. Later today, you'll get this video. Come back in a few hours to see how you predict grand solar minimum and solar cycle strength in general, plus my crazy idea about why the sun seems to fire away from Earth so much, the Earth-facing solar quiet. And then, tomorrow morning, this one will come out with all the observed changes already seen, and knowing the big events that will cap off the catastrophe, what smaller events are we watching for next? It's coming tomorrow morning, means no regular morning show tomorrow will be taking the day off unless there is inclement space weather. Folks, we've had special edition evening videos pretty much all week. You've got another coming later today and tomorrow morning. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe, and unless the sun demands we update in the morning, we'll be back with the regular show on Monday. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.